like that information right there i assure you like after four weeks of using that or a month you're gonna go from like oh like my bullet registration's like this this and this uh into oh i'm not missing like one single bullet bro even if they're in the air flying down so you see how you're aiming down sight like at six seconds right there like you're aiming down sight like trying to see the player and stuff like that yeah okay so you're at six seconds so you don't see them like really on your screen yet um or like you're already aiming down sight at like five seconds and then you try to drag onto them you see how you did that um, yeah usually in this situation what you would want to do is just completely aim out of sight and just aim back down in sight so you can get that like rotational like target aim assist because if you try to drag it onto them one you're going to be stuck in the aim assist bubble and you're not going to get like your registration or anything like that and but if you use that like target aim assist where you like zoom out and you zoom back into the player you're going to get those initial bullet registrations or in that hit registration and then no, i got i got on dynamic too man but like yeah uh, if you go to like go, go to the the minute of the clip too like i i i, I, I this, this guy's like taking way too much damage and it's not the gun and it's just like most of the uh most of the shots you're like, actually, like really talented because you're like doing what controller players usually don't do and you're trying to track like track them out like which is yeah and your aim is like actually pretty crazy too it's just that like you gotta just take advantage of like the like these situations right here you don't even want to play this game because he's just playing games with you like he's just trying to get your yeah. down and stuff like that like you're, you're not gonna kill him from there you know what i mean so like you're better than this guy so you should be like just pushing him up and not even wasting your time on that like so you see how after that like that guy behind you you just like snapped onto him like like right there you just snapped onto him by the uh with the second guy uh yeah, yeah but like look at the aim assist look at like i that's why i'm going left and right it's going off his body on his body like it's it wasn't Your working it's pretty good actually at uh like 50 something what seconds what sense are you on dude wait what 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 sense are you on uh i'm on 10 i think that's 10 or 11. <laughs> dude, all right dude, jesus dude, how dude, dude, dude. yeah that's why <laughs> dude. i use it for reaction time mainly but um yeah reaction time is good, my but it's not my eye my eye insight ads is like my like under uh it's it's like minimal it's like nothing so you snap like you camera around quick and then when you aim it zooms yeah, it like, like it like slow, yeah what well, yeah yeah exactly so but i can track a lot yeah, better that's why you're missing like so much like bullets and stuff like that because you're not getting the full like experience on aim assist because i used to play on like high uh sensitivities too and as soon as i went down dude it's just automatic like you're gonna make i can already tell like if you switch to five five six six and got used to it like you would hit all your shots like dude like pro professional players like they can play on 14 14 10 10 and stuff like that but the reason why they don't and they like like you how you're good at aiming like they can aim like the same exact way like pretty good and do all that the reason why they don't is because like it's not taking advantage like full advantage of like being on a, like a controller itself you know what i mean like you're you're playing like a keyboard game like with the reaction when you should be playing a controller game with like strafing aiming using that target aim assist like and doing all that stuff and just like making it easy for yourself you see what i mean 10 percent of situations where you're supposed to get your bullet registrations it's just not going to get it because it's picking yeah. up those micro like those little micro movements that you make on your thumbstick and your yeah. thumbstick's not as accurate as a mouse it's a thumbstick you can have like thumbstick delay a whole bunch of stuff so that's why like five five six six is like the way to go for sure yeah, yeah, like a high sense kind of not totally, but kind of defeats the purpose yeah, of centering. Like you have good centering and everything, but when you go to shoot, it's not going to be exactly like where you think it's going to be, if that makes sense. Yeah, Especially yeah. like when you're dragging your stick and everything. And then like, yeah, back to like the centering thing, like unaiming and like just keeping like the crosshairs at the center and then just like snapping on them is yeah. going to like, you're, you're going to feel like you're getting kills quicker. Yeah, I mean... That that was from that particular clip. Then, like I I know that my it, like the aim, like I know that the, there's something going on there. Um, so I'll admit that. But there, there's still a problem of like I, I'll test it out with the the, the heat rig and stuff like that. 
but um, there, there was hit rate problems. I, I I don't know if you can tell we're having a shit mat, and it, like when you, I, don't, I I don't know if you had the situation where, where your bullets are, you know your bullets are hitting, and then you know you're like not. One game, uh, you can kill a guy aiming at his chest with a XM4 or whatever gun you're using, and you, and you just after a few times you just know that that's that that's the amount of time it takes to kill a guy, and yeah. then. Then you go in and when I'm experiencing these problems, like I, no I notice that the mag is almost gone. Still, still kit, like having the same shots that I'm doing that I was having like the match earlier or a couple of hours earlier. Um, yep. But it's taking three times as long to kill the guy. Cause I, I do, I like, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stream. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a name for myself and I'm trying to get out there, but it's been such a pain in the ass to stream because I want to play this game, but I'm not having fun playing this game because these problems keep happening. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I feel like I can't stream the game because I'm not going to have that's fun because I keep dying to stuff, which is outside of my control. That's um, and I'm frustrated, like out of my mind. And that's why I ended up with you guys back and forth with the ISP company. And I don't know what it is. But that's, that's the other disadvantage of having like a high sense in general, because like you with a high sense like on mouse it's okay because you don't have like any my you're basically like controlling everything right on controller having a high sense is like really bad uh in general because when you're aiming and you think that you're making those like small little like movements that is hitting the enemy um but it's not registering it's because like the game is only registering at like 60 hertz and okay. sending like information like let's say you're on a 10 right like a 10 uh, sensitivity your yeah. your movement is gonna look like this right so like yeah. really accurate really smooth and you might think the game's taking in that uh but you got to remember aim assist is working against you on a six your movement's gonna look like this and what do you think is gonna get the better hit reg if it's only 60 hertz this yeah. is gonna get the better hit reg this is what the game sees so the game thinks you're missing bullets because you see how this is like up down up down it's like wait like what is this guy like aiming correctly like what's happening and you got to remember aim assist is messing it up so this might be here this might be here this might be here because of aim assist in a bubble so it's messing you up in general but if it's a smooth line like this the game's only seeing this how do you turn your head though? That's the that's the biggest problem for me because I like to turn my head. I ever since I was a kid and playing like Modern Warfare Two, Modern Warfare Three, yeah, like I like to turn my head. To, and that's the thing. That's the thing. So because it's just a trade off. Literally, I know exactly what you're talking. About. Like, oh my god, I feel like I'm talking to myself, bro. Literally, you're talking about turning your head, right? If you're thinking about uh, turning your head on five five and six six, like you can't turn it in time. That means mm -hmm. that you're not centering correctly and you're not setting yourself up in a position where you can like have that advantage in general. The question is like, why do you have, do you feel the need that you have to turn quick? Usually when you like feel the need that you have to turn quick, it's because you don't have the centering um, like down pack where you don't even have to turn a muscle. You're already centered onto the target where you don't even have to like move like your your aim or anything like that far so if you like watch like a pro player like compared to just like a regular like gamer and stuff like that you'll or notice clips, that the you pro know, players just, are just pray you know <laughs> yeah <pray. laughs> you'll notice that the pro players are always 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 prepared for the next situation they never have to turn around quick or do anything like that yeah once or twice they're gonna get a turn on and stuff like that but they're always prepared for that next situation because they have really 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 good centering that's not so, even a fa that shouldn't even be a factor uh when it comes to your aiming and stuff like that you should like automatically learn how to turn uh even if like it's like four four or something like that you want to make sure like you're centering correctly you just gotta like take advantage of what you can and just put the disadvantages like away basically like that's all the game is so once you do that like i can already tell by your aim like once you do that and learn like how to just like center with the six six you're just gonna be nasty bro you're just gonna be absolutely disgusting so like um you think i should like bump down to 6.6 six, right from 10.10 10. i believe you should bump down to 6.6 six from 10.10 oh 10. that's gonna and just just get through the process it's gonna be brutal okay it's gonna lower like it's gonna force so what, what's you the to max? center better. what's the max you would do like a six, seven six. max is six, six okay six. 
Yeah, and it'll force you to center better. It'll force you to get into situations better. It'll force you to be prepared better. It'll make you a better player, I'm telling you, 100%. That was like a whole spiel of not even optimization stuff. But, dude, like, those are the little things that, like, those top professional streamers that I notice when I when I watch them, like, when we're doing this with them, that they take advantage of, that, like, normal gamers and stuff like that, they, they kind of, like, nobody shares this information, like, out to the public. You know what I mean? So that, yeah. th like, that information right there, I assure you, like, after four weeks of using that or a month, you're gonna go from like, oh, like my bullet registration's like this, this, and this, uh, into, oh, I'm not missing like one single bullet, bro. Even if they're in the air flying down. Every time you click your analog, the more you use it, the less um, like stable it gets or whatever. That's why like the drag or just the, you know, like the controller drag and stuff like that happens. So like yeah. you just gotta, it's either like you switch to like paddles and it'll like fix that like automatically off the rip or you have to just lower your sensitivity in general and it'll kind of fix it uh but like if you're still using tactical it'll always feel like that inconsistencies that's why okay. some like some pros like they actually know how to use tactical claw with the paddles and stuff like that they have they know how to use all three but the reason why they use like the the buttons on the bottom of their controllers is just because it gives you that extra like input um because yeah, you don't know how long even with laying down mm -hmm. like it like in games where like I mean, you wouldn't do it in this, like, in, like, Vanguard. Um, but, like, if you were to drop shot, like, drop shotting with, like, circle drop or... Shot, uh, yeah, drop shotting with your analog quicker. is going to take way longer than drop shotting with just, like, a normal, like, paddle or just normal button in general. Because your analog yeah. doesn't register, like, almost immediately. Like, that would be bad if it did register, like, almost immediately. But literally, you're basically, like, you're basically fighting against the friction of your analog like that that's like i feel like that's like the problem right now so like what you want to do is either always like buy new controllers in general which some pros do uh or just like i do that i just ordered a new scuff yeah people <laughs> just order new controllers all the time for that or you just want to make sure that you're using those like buttons on the bottom and you could put it wherever you want on your controller most companies do that and like yeah. that'll like basically like fix that situation right there because if you're pinging the same and everything that means that you're basically almost in the same server location so like it could be that like i don't think that could be like a isp like related thing or like an internet related thing uh, i feel like that would be more likely just like the controller friction in general like from your thumbstick and just the actual activation after i guarantee you if you just make like a mental note to watch like whoever you watch i bet you they're gonna do like everything watch a professional about. player though like literally they do it like it's it's like a third instinct to them dude legit yeah. what i did was what well, i'm still bad but literally <laughs> like watch take notes and that's how i learned like these little things that they do because it, it's basically a habit to them you just want to make it a habit and after you make it a habit, bro, like you're just always gonna be like a good player. You know what I mean? I I'm a, I'm gonna try the settings, and I'll let you guys know. Like, it, it, do you I just can't give up them? after. Literally, you have to try it for a month. Minimum. Yeah, yeah. Like it, you can't just... try it for a month. You're gonna be. It's gonna be a process and stuff like that. But you cannot give up before a month. Like that, you gotta set that.